Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate triple identity integrals. For this purpose, we will focus on exercise 15.5, question number 17 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. In this integral, we have limit from 0 to pi, limit from 0 to pi, and limit from 0 to pi in each integral. And we have the variables u, v, and w. First of all, in order to solve this triple integral, we need to know some terminologies. And these are, in triple integrals, we have three variables involved for each in sign of integration. Now, which variable is associated with which sign of integration? We will learn it. Here, you can see this variable u, which is with the differential du, is called most inner variable. And the limits of inner variable u are 0 to pi. Then the variable with d, which is written in the center, is called central variable. And the limits of v are 0 to pi in the central integral. Then the variable which is written with d in the most outer side is called outer variable. And limits of w are 0 to pi written on the most outer variable integral. In triple integrals, we will always start performing the process of integration with respect to most inner variable. And then on the outcomes of integration of inner variable, we will apply rule of integration with respect to central variable. Then after calculating integrals with respect to central variable, we will apply the rules of integration with respect to outer variable. So it is an iterative process, inner, central, and outer. We will always follow this order, inner, central, and then outer for the process of integration. Now in this question, we have to integrate cos of u plus v plus w. This u plus v plus w is angle of cos. So in the beginning, we have to perform its integration with respect to u. Please note that with respect to u, v and w will behave like constant numbers or constant functions. Now, please remember the integration of cos is plus sign. So when we integrate cos of u plus v plus w, we have sine of u plus v plus w for the limit 0 to pi. Then in the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to apply calculate limits. Upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, I have we will replace u with pi in the first term. Minus is a formula, and zero with u with zero for the second term. Then making the simplification, we have sine of pi plus v plus w minus sine of v plus w. Please be careful in this question. This question involves so many terms as we move on in the process of integration. So we have to tackle the simplification very carefully. So up till here, we have completed the process of integration with respect to most inner variable, that is u. In the next step, we will perform the integration with respect to v. Please note that with respect to v, w will behave like constant. So. Please remember the integration of sine is minus cos. So when I will apply integral on each term inside the bracket, I will integrate sine of pi plus v plus w and sine of v plus w individually. As integration of sine of pi plus v plus w is minus cos of pi plus v plus w and minus minus become plus, so it become plus cos of v plus w because the integration of sine is minus cos. So minus minus become plus in the second term. Please consider this change of sign very carefully in the second term. Then after integration, I have to apply limits for each term. That is upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, I will replace v with pi in the upper limit and I will replace v with 0 in the lower limit. So I have minus cos of pi plus pi plus w 
plus cos of pi plus w. Minus is a formula and then minus cos of pi plus 0 plus w plus cos of 0 plus w. I have written this term in vertical order so that you can clearly focus that I have replaced pi for the upper limit in place of v and I have replaced 0 in place of v in the lower limit. And then making a simplification, I got from the first term, I got minus cos of 2 pi plus w, cos of pi plus w. And here, when you multiply with minus sign, the sign inside the bracket changes. So minus minus become plus cos of pi plus w plus cos of plus minus minus cos of w. So up now we have four terms and in the second and third term as the things are similar so we can add them it become 2 cos of pi plus w this second and third term are same so we can add them so we have minus cos of 2 pi plus w plus 2 cos of pi plus w minus cos of w so up till here we have completed the process with respect to central variable now i am going to apply the rule of integration with respect to our outermost variable that is w. Now I have applied the integration on each term. Integration of cos is plus sign. So I get minus sine of 2 pi plus w plus 2 sine of pi plus w minus sine of w. And the next step we will apply limits upper limit minus lower limit by using fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate the limits. And here it is, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we will replace w with pi. And for lower limit, we will replace w with zero in each term. So after applying the limit, making the simplifications, we have minus sine of three pi plus two sine of two pi minus sine of pi. And in the lower brackets, I have minus sine of 2 pi plus 2 sine of pi and minus sine of pi. As each term, you can calculate from the calculator. Each term gives you a zero answer. So the answer of this whole integral is zero. Sine of 3 pi means sine of 3 multiplied by 180. Sine of 2 pi means sine of 2 multiplied by 180. And sine of pi means sine of 180. Remember, whenever pi operate at an angle, you will use its value as 180 degree for the process of calculation. And whenever pi is available as a number, you will use its value 22 over 7 or 3.14. I hope you have understood this question and the process of iterative integrals. Please like, share, and subscribe this content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.